hello friends welcome to my channel today we will see uh, introduction to python uh, we will assume that it's a guide to a layman to access the python and learn the very fundamental basics of the python so first if you want to install the python on your computer you can go to this website and you can go to downloads and then you can download uh, this python whatever version currently present and install this onto your computer and python is a interpreted language uh, which means that it can execute code line by that means we can interactively uh, write the code to the python uh, python so that after writing each line you can verify the output whether it is uh, coming right or not okay uh, let's start with the print statement this is the basic print statement it will prints whatever the text inside this so for example this print and uh, i have given some text hello world uh, this text should be in a double quote and now i'm not using the python interpreter i'm just using uh, the online python editor which is google collab you can search it online uh, by uh, by saying google collab in google search engine and then if you open it then search window will be open and there are a plus code and plus test will be there you can add some text you want and you can add some code and if i want to do this and let me type this this print hello world so just by pressing this play button you can see the hello world is typed given as next thing to learn about Py, uh, in python is to about vari variables uh, variables are used to store some data in python you can assign a value to a variable using the equal to signature for example this message is my variable and i have given this text this test type stored in that message and now i want to print that message now i am just adding i can do it here also now i am just adding another uh, code box and i am just running it see now this hello python uh, text is printed this test is stored in message and this test is printed and now i can add this here also and it's executed line by line so if i run see this is first print option and this is the second print option then the next thing we will learn about data types uh, there are several data types we will see some data types like integer float and string integer we know whole numbers positive numbers negative numbers uh, numbers and floating point numbers are these decimal numbers which are positive and negative and strings are some data so strings can be uh, should be given in either double quotes or in the single quotes uh, let's see uh, some example of uh, this i'm just using my collaborator window so now i'm adding some code box and then so this is uh, this hash tag is for comment uh, this will make this string as comment and it won't be in the part of the code so name is give, uh, assigned with a string ls and we have printed the name now let me add some more lines to this some more lines so i have added these lines this hashtag is for commenting and this commented portion is not a part of your code this is just to indicate the things what is to make some visibility or some indication of the code written so let me execute this so see this first print come uh, it's printed the message hello python and then 
age is assigned with 25 an integer and we have printed the days and pi is uh, assigned with uh, pi is a variable and assigned with 3.14 and we have printed that and then we have printed the text c now the difference is if you want to print uh, the text in the first example if you want to print this text this text is string and should be in the quote and if you want to print a variable then no quote is needed and this text is within the quotes and assigned to the mess uh, this variable and we are printing the variable and it will in turn print the what the data that is stored in that variable then we will see some basic operations python supports python supports addition with plus symbol subtraction with multiplication uh, minus symbol multiplication with star symbol division with this uh, division symbol and exponentiation with two star symbols uh, let's run this code which so let me add some code box and i will run this code and uh, this is i am commenting and so now the sum sum equal to 3 come plus 4 sum is a variable and it added two integers and we have printed sum and multiplication of these two variables and we have printed the sum um, now the new thing is exponentiation mm, let me comment this exponentiation and it is let me write forward so let me add this power equal to 5 star star 2 and let me print print this variable power so if we run it okay there is actually it showed an identification error identification is nothing but uh, suppose if you do some looping or uh, uh, blocking and if you want multiplication and then uh, if you want a tab or something you will keep uh, this like this this extra tabbing is known as identification that we will learn during if else statements and all so for now if i uh, remove the spaces this error will go so so what is 5 power 2 5 5 into 5, 5 square it is 25 this next thing is comments comments i already explained these are ignored by the python interpreter they are useful for adding notes and explanations to your code in python this hashtag symbol is to start an comment we already seen this this is a comment we have already uh, seen lot of comments here this addition multiplication and all and then control flow uh, this is where indentation will comes into picture i will explain so this is how this is the indentation if we started here and this is the indentation uh, this is the indentation this space so now uh, so control flow the control of the python interpreter we can shift that control uh, while using statements like if and while uh, for decision making and looping while is for looping and if is for decision making if statements allows you to exempt certain code blocks conditionally so let me print this i will check uh, what it will do let me take some another code block and we have assigned 18 to the variable age and if that age is greater than or equal to 18 uh, it prints you are an adult and if else it prints you are not an adult so the age is now okay now it's you are an adult age is 18 uh, let the age is 16 
if it is 16 then you are not an adult and suppose if you are 60 then also you are an adult yeah the code is working so the while loop allows you to repeatedly execute a block of code as long as the condition is true uh, we will need to give a condition and until the condition is true uh, the block of statements will always get executed again and again so let's see some example of while so any i this count is a variable and we have assigned 0 to this count and until this count is less than 5 we will print the count and we this is the condition we are increasing count by plus 1 in every step this plus equal to will add this is like count equal to count plus 1 so see the difference here this is the text which is in quotes and this is the variable which is given here so now now see this text is printed in quote and the count variable and we are increasing the count every time now once it reaches 5 so this loop will execute these two uh, statements these two statements only until this condition is true at 5 this condition is false and this loop got break next we will see functions functions allow you to group uh, reusable code that can be called and executed at any time so you can define your own functions by using the keyword def this def is definition to define a function this is the keyword uh, now here we are uh, creating a function which is to greet someone so this function is a uh, function name is greet and uh, the inputs are uh, and the variable is a name and we will whatever the name we we will give uh, the name while calling this function and we call this function as greet and we give the name Alice Alice or whatever your name and then see this is the text and this is the variable so now let's me let's give this uh, now this is already we defined the function now so, so I'm greeting so hello is already printed whatever name uh, in the function we have given that function it is taken and then it gave so let me greet myself Great. True. So it greets me. So this name is variable. Whatever we give as a command, as a input, whatever you pass to that variable, uh, this will be printed. The uh, because this function. Uh, uh, will do this print uh, it add hello in before and whatever assigned to this variable and that is printed so not only the strings i have given some integer and float here let's see whether it will greet integer and float oh hello 2 and hello 3.24 it have greeted these two but if you can see let's check whether it greet another variable what i told uh, this double quotations or single quotations will give it as a text and if these quotations are not there then it's a variable now see there is an error we cannot give another variable to this i told python is interactive we can get some user input also you can obtain user input by giving this input function and this input function prompts the user for input and returns it as a string so you can store the input in a variable for further processing you can store this input in a variable so for example name is a variable 
am giving input and while taking the input it will print the text what is your name and you will give some name and it will store into the this name variable and then we can print that name variable or whatever stored in the name so so now if i run this so it is asking me what is your name and it is i told it is interactive let give my name as alice and press enter then the name is alice is stored in the name variable and then it is asking hello alice and it is printing now as i given the print statement so one more thing i want to tell the here is you can print name star 5 so name c so the name is type of five times ali sali 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 so these are some basic concepts to start the python with and from here you can gradually explore advanced topics if time permits i will do videos on advanced topics such as data structures file handling libraries modules and we will practice some how to write the code experiments with example and don't hesitate to ask anything in comments and happy coding and if you like this video please like encourage me by subscribing the channel please share this video which is helpful for the people and press the bell icon to get such more crisp concepts and crisp videos to your mobile